So this is day 11. We're really at the finishing final stages now. Uh, I'm going to take out between the fingers here, so you'll be able to see through the fingers to the face, which will be, be a nice um, distancing effect. Um, the main sanded finish is here. Um, the face is finished. Around the hair is obviously the, the other big thing that I'm working on. So I'll be creating swirls in the, in the hair, which will give it a nice feeling of movement and of lightness on the top of the head. And then the final finish will be, we'll, I'll be spraying a finish on, which will really bring out the stunning grains of the oak. Um, I already know that there'll be, I mean here this will be a nice um, yellowy colour and there'll be a rich red there and some of it will be a browns. Um, but this paleness that we've got now, which is good, it shows the form, but once we've got the extra feature of the, the quality of the oak, that'll just bring another dimension into it, which should look really amazing. How are you going to do the hair? Uh, I'm going to start off with, I'm going up onto this uh, big platform here. Um, so I'll be standing right up here with the, uh, the carving chainsaw. Back to this, this uh, which is quite manageable. And I'll be, because if I was to work just like this, that would be really dangerous, because if it was the kickback, it's going to cut my head in half. Um, so, and also I can't get in to certain angles, so I'll be up, up on there, working downwards. Um, but I need to make these marks first, just to give, just to give the idea of uh, movement in it, rather than just randomly hacking into it. Because I want to have a nice sweeping pattern, and the idea is that the, the wind is blowing the hair around a bit. They will, I'll reduce it quite a lot. I mean, I've, I've given myself plenty of extra space here. I can also see that there's a big knot here in the top where the side branch was coming out at the beginning, if you remember. Um, so there's a nice rich redness that's going to be there in the, in the grain of it. So I'll try, and, I'll try and accentuate that by cutting away some of this paler wood at the, at the front so you can see, see the you know, really nice colour variations coming in across in that in that hair space. Did you say you're going to spray it with oil? Yeah, yeah, there'll, there'll be um, an oil finish put on it at the end, which will, I mean, oak's very durable anyway, um, but it really responds well to oil, so you can get some beautiful golden almost colours coming into it. Um, so that's what I'm, that, it's a very nice feeling that, because you sort of feel your, the, the life is flooding into it and the colours flooding in. Um, I'm, I think that's, it's going to be quite a, a beautiful spectacle that seeing, seeing the colour coming into her. So we finished now, Pete. We are finished. Wow, that's amazing. This this tree has been transformed into this beautiful image of a di active, dynamic woman. Excellent. Let's have a quick look at her. So we've got the hair up there. It's pretty wild, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a sense of the movement coming round with the the hand and the hair coming around as well, which is, could either be um, the, just the movement of the head with the movement of the body, oh, yeah. uh, or it could be the wind coming along behind it. Yeah. Um, it's just giving you something to, a sense of movement and activity um, to, to meditate on um, when you're looking at it, to, to get a sense of, um, there's actually movement, there's something happening, there's energy moving. Are you going to um, give it a quick spray? Yeah. This is the, the final treatment that uh, will we'll really bring the... You can see the grain just coming into it then when you do this. Oh yeah. So... And this will soak in and, and just give it a really good uh, covering which will... Wow, you really can see the grain now. This is just like incredible. It comes from a, a pale piece of wood to a glorious kind of gleaming... I haven't done that. Yeah, I can see the grain really clearly now. It's just a complete transformation. This is the beauty of oak. I mean, every wood is a different colour, but oak has a particularly wonderful richness to it. You can see the, the years. We're going back in years here. Wow. To the, to the middle of the tree. Uh, the incredible. tree was probably about 500 years old, so we've got wow. a lot of trapped time here, trapped sunlight. That is awesome, isn't it? And obviously features like this knot here and... There's a bit uh, on the left arm as well, isn't there? This here is really interesting, yeah. And this, this here. Excellent. Yeah. 
And the, of course, around here, you can see the way it flows around the body. Yeah. And you get some really interesting lines. And you never know where they're coming. I mean, this line here is coming around there, which is quite interesting. On this yeah. leg, it's more straightforward, the grain. So it's wow. bringing these wider sweeps across. Absolutely. And then here, there's this little central place there. Like a belly button. Yeah. That is awesome. So that is what wood gives you, isn't it? That no other medium. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Can create. Yeah. Utterly fantastic. So, on a personal level, does it have any meaning for you? Do you think? Um, it's it's uh, obviously working with that archetypal image of a um, of a woman, uh, an active woman, um, who's who's actually got something to say, something to give to the world. Um, this is what I wanted. I didn't want a sort of a Roman statue who's just standing there with a vase or something. Um, I wanted something that was um, giving an image of, of uh, positive activity. This is quite different to the goddess in the forest, isn't it? Where she's static and almost like a figure of worship. Yeah, yeah. So this statue mm. or sculpture is not to be worshipped as such? No, it's, it's hopefully a positive image of... Um, uh, I mean, w women in in, uh, in the West have a g have great opportunities to to have jobs, uh, to have children, wonderful uh, opportunities to, to to work with the nature of being uh, living on this planet, and being able to make the best of it. And it's obviously very challenging as well. Um, I mean, even that juggling having a, a career and having children is 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 in itself a really difficult thing. So it was partly um, uh, to to, to um, give some sort of expression of that, that issue and to celebrate um, women and what they do um, and getting the balance right and maybe an image that is um, showing something of, of even in her pose where she's sort of like this is almost like she's holding the home here the, and this is the, the active going out and doing making positive changes in the world you could look at it in all sorts of different levels but that, that's um, possibly one level that um, you know, the viewer will, they'll all have their own interpretation of this. So uh, for, for you personally, there is a young woman in your life who has some relevance to this sculpture? Yeah, I mean, it's, at, at the process of doing this, uh, my daughter has gone through a serious, um, life-threatening um, series of, of, of long-term health problems, which is, uh, at the moment, she is actually in, in hospital. Um, so it's very meaningful to me to actually, rather than just sit there passively, to actually create something that is um, hopefully um, bringing some sense of um, positivity to a, a very uh, difficult personal time for me. And rather than creating something that is tragic and is, is sort of struggling and expressing that negativity, um, I've decided to go the other way and actually um, create a sense of, um, of, of, of the power of, of a young woman. Positivity rather than being negative about things. I yes. Guess. It's a very uh, positive statement, the, the sculpture, isn't it? Yeah. Let's have another quick look. There we go. Well done, Pete. It's um, fantastic. You've done really well. <laughs> Be very pleased with yourself. Yeah, yeah.